have swaddling clothes. Well, the little strips of cloth that are wrapped around the baby's body, starting at the feet and wrapped around so that the baby looks like a miniature mummy. No, why would the mother want to do that? Why would the mother want to turn the, 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 the infant child into a miniature mummy? Well, because the baby has been in the, in the fetal position for nine months, and you have to stretch out the bones. You have to ensure proper, proper growth. So by stretching out the bones for a few hours, this is the way that the ancients used to do it, is to grab some special swaddling clothes. Now, here's the problem. Now, if you put the baby down on the table, and the baby is in the shape of a rolling pin, it's going to roll right off the table. Since you've got to secure the baby in some kind of a place, and that, that would be the, the cow dish. Now, I didn't understand that until my father got a cow. So he got this, this was a great idea because uh, the, the cow would uh, take care of all the lawn maintenance and then would have nice steaks at the end of the season. But anyway, in this particular time, that my father put the cow in the barn for the winter and he gave him a bale of hay. And he left the cow with the hay. When he goes back, my father sees the cow lying on the floor looking at my father and the hay was all spewed all over the place. Have you ever seen a cow eat hay? they do is they take their whole head and put it into the hay and go and the hay goes flying all over the place. So to prevent that mess from ever happening again, my father built a cow dish so that only the lips of the cow could get in there just to eat a little bit at a time so we wouldn't make the big mess. So you have, so what do you have? A child wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. You have something very, very ordinary. There is nothing extraordinary about the sea. So let me retell the story. So the angels of the, of the Lord appeared to the philosophers, and they said to the philosophers, Go, Bethlehem, you will see the Savior wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the manger. So the philosophers went and they saw the child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the manger, and they said, It's impossible. It's metaphysically impossible for God to be a child. He's the Alpha, the Omega. There's no beginning and no end. It's impossible that this could be the Christ. And then they walked away. So then the angels appeared to the scientists, and the scientists who went to see and behold the child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And then the scientists ended up saying, says, this is, it's impossible. It's biologically impossible for a virgin to have on that child. This, this is what we call a myth. And they walked away. So then the angels appeared to the social workers, and the social workers came and they saw the child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the manger. And the social workers said, It's impossible. It's impossible that this child is going to be the savior of the world. You need money, you need education to, to change the world. This child doesn't have any of that. It's impossible that he's going to be able to save the world. And then the angels appeared to the shepherds, and the shepherds went in and saw the child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the manger, and they left rejoicing, full of joy. And then I said, hold it, hold it, stop the story, wait a minute. So I grabbed one of the shepherds and said, well, what is this? I said, how is it possible that you look at something very ordinary and you, you see God? Um, the, the, the philosophers and the scientists and the social workers didn't see that. How is it possible that you know that this could be God? And the shepherd said to me, no, this is God. Because God loves to do the impossible. You just have to have the eyes to see it. So our reflection question is this. Do you have shepherd eyes? Do you see God in the ordinary? Do you see God in your life in the ordinary things? Do you see God can do the impossible in your life? 